Hello, Alexander. Hello, teacher. How are you? Very good. Very good. Welcome. How do you feel today? Good. Very good. The same. <laughs> the whole time in my life is I feel good. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> what did you do today? Uh, in the morning, I was reading because right now I am, uh, I hope, I hope I, I try to learn how to do trading. It's about money. Financial. Oh, oh uh, on, yes. Online yes. trading. Yes, but I am, uh, right now I am subscribed in the Padre Rico, Robert Kiyosaki. You oh, know okay. Yes, yes. yes. And I read it, and after I went, no, I, uh, yes, I went to my daughter, the uh, Valentina School, and after I have a reunion with my um, employees, mm -hmm. but right now, good. Today we have a, a um, event. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Okay, all right, well. Yes. Well, I'm very happy to hear that. Yes. I, I like trading also. Really? Yes. Okay. Do you have a, a, a broker? Uh, no, I don't have a broker, but right now I am trading on IQ option. Ah, yes, yes. I know. Me too. Me too. But I lost $20. <laughs> okay. Oh, try again, but with $5, but uh -huh. one by one. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I messed up 20 bucks down okay. the drain. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hello, Katya. How are you? Hello, teacher. I am oh. fine. Thank you. How do you feel today? Very well. Thank you. Awesome. How was your day? Um, uh, only work in my school, like every day. And what did you do today? I have a meeting. I have a visit from the Ministry of Education. I don't know. Ministry of Education. Ministry of Education. Mm -hmm. Because they give us a, a computer. Oh, nice. Nice. Teachers. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, thank you. Today I am. <laughs> Um, through my new computer. <laughs> well, it looks good. I like the camera. It's a nice camera. You look very nice. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, teacher. All right. Rigoberto, how are you? Hello, Rigoberto. Are you there? All right, Elizabeth, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. What about you? Very good. Welcome. Today is Thursday. How do you feel today? Uh, I feel happy because <laughs> the Sunday, is, the Saturday is coming. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Well, welcome, everybody. Good evening. Um, who can tell me what information do you remember about yesterday's class? What did we talk about yesterday? What did we what did we speak about? Who can give me an example? Elizabeth, what do you remember? I remember uh, yesterday we started the describe actions with passive mm -hmm. using passive mm -hmm. and some example is a process mm -hmm. like make a sandwich the wow. first one we we need to i don't remember the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. using mm -hmm. what structure what grammar structure that we look at yesterday the grammar structure that we looked yesterday mm -hmm. is the verb to be. Aha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Plus past verb, participle. Verb to be plus past participle is 
and was. Yes. Correct. And the past participle. For example, the coffee was made. Dinner is cooked. Does somebody else have an example? Enrique, do you have an example of the passive voice? Okay, uh, let me have Ivania. Do you have an example from yesterday's class? Okay, Anna. Sorry, teacher. Okay, uh, do you have an example? An example about the passive books? Correct, a sentence. Um, for example, um, well, we did uh, an example about how to make a salad. Okay, okay. Um, we say first, we put uh, first this, the vegetable are put in a bowl. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, the vegetable um, are uh, cut mm -hmm. in 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 little uh, pieces. Okay. Okay. And then the ticket uh, uh, is added to the salad. Very good. Very good. All right. Good okay. job, Ivanya. So today we are going to look at the first activity which is going to be 4.4, where we left off yesterday. Read the first example for me, this one. Alexander, read this example, please. Okay. To complete the script, it has to be divided into scene. Excellent. Scene. Scenes. Scenes. Excellent, Alex. Katia Monterosa, number two. This one. The film details need to be written out. Very good. Repeat. The filming details need to be written out. The filming details need to be written out. Perfect. Number three, Elizabeth. Number three. First, an outline of the script has to be prepared. Very good. Number four, Ivania. Number four. Next, actors are chosen. Thank you. Number five, Mirna Barahona. Are cho chosen. Are chosen. Are chosen. chosen. Okay. Are chosen. Yeah. Number five, Mirna. Location are picked. Very good. Locations are picked. Locations are picked with a T at the end. Repeat. Location are picked. Very good. Rigoberto, number six. Rigoberto, number six. Costumes are designed, filming can then begin. Perfect. Costumes are designed, filming can then begin. Roxana Mendez, number eight. Mendoza, did you? <laughs> Oh, Roxana Mendoza, number eight. Okay. Number eight or seven? Uh, after Continue the seven. Oh, mm -hmm. really? Seven. Number seven, it's... Oh, sorry. All right, number <laughs> okay. seven. The outer line is expanded into a script. Excellent. 
the outline is expanded into a script. Very good. The next one, Enrique, number eight. After the script is completed. After the script is completed is correct. Ana Golindez, number nine. Uh, number nine, a director is hired. Very good. A director is hired. Number 10, Francisco a Melgar. A director. A director, correct. Okay. Number 10. Number 10. Okay. The final film you see on the screen is created by the director and editor out of thousands of different shots. Very good. The final film you seen on the screen is created by the director and editor out of thousands of different shots. Number 11, Maritza. Zoom. After the film has been edited, music is composed and sound effects are added. Excellent. Perfect pronunciation. Number 12, Marvin. After the filming is finished, the different shots can then be put together. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Any questions referring to this vocabulary? Questions referring to the meaning or the pronunciation of these words. What is what is the meaning of hire? Oh. Which one? Number nine. Number nine, hire, contratar. Hire. Hire. A director is hired. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Yes. Another question? No. Anybody? No, teacher. Nobody? Okay. We're going to move forward and we're going to be looking at exercise 4.5. Listening exercise. Instructions. Go over the information, then listen to the quiz show. Can you guess the occupations? Write short answers. Just the name of the occupation. No capital letters and no periods are needed. Listen, please. Page 95. Can you hear? Exercise 9. Yes. Perspectives. Yes, yes teacher. Quiz show. Yes, teacher. Part yes, teacher. A. Okay. Listen to a quiz show. Can you guess the occupations? One. A uh, blank who finds appropriate places to shoot scenes, gets to travel all over the world. Two, a blank is someone who chooses an actor for each part in a movie. Three, a blank who makes sure that everything on a movie set looks realistic, creates the objects that the characters use. Four, a blank is someone who develops and expands a story idea into a full movie script. Five, a blank is a language specialist who works with actors on their accents. Six, a blank who is used when an original screenplay needs more work, makes jokes funnier, and dialogues more realistic.
Right. So you're going to listen to the audio and identify the vocabulary. For example, uh, mm, who finds appropriate places to shoot scenes gets to travel all over the world. Casting director, location scout, screenwriter, dialect coach, prop designer. Which one is it? Location, location scout. scout. Location right, scout. correct. Location scout is correct. So you're going to identify the vocabulary with the vocabulary word. Any questions? Yeah, teacher. All right. Mm -hmm. So you're going to come right here and you're going to write, for example, number one, location <laughs> scout. Scout. Any questions? Okay. No. 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 Right. You will have five minutes to work in pairs. Okay. Okay. Five minutes. Ready, let's go. Work in trios. You can share your screen. I think the second one. You can share your screen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, I can hear you, but you can share your screen. Can... You can share your screen. Okay. I'm going to share the screen. All right. Please wait <laughs> just for a moment. Okay. Okay. I think it is. Can you awesome. see it? Awesome. Awesome. Hello, yeah. Francisco. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Okay. Now I can see. Perfect. Now, uh, I got is like a bastidor. Uh, to make sure that everything in the movie is set. Hi, teacher. Uh, hey, how are you doing? Oh, the pronunciation with the, in the letter three, it's character, right? Number three. Yeah, the, the last part. Character use. Uh, it says characters. The number two. Characters. Yeah. The objects that the characters use. Characters. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, I will read the number four. A plan is yes. someone who develops. You can share your screen. You can share your screen. Okay, moment.
All right. Let me have the first volunteer, number one. Number two, Juan Jose. Juan Jose, number two. Zulma Yamilet, number two. Casting director. Very good. Casting director. Casting director. Number three, please. Marcella. Yes, a prop designer. Prop designer. Perfect. The next one, prop please. Prop teacher. A prop designer is a person that designs uh, little details of the show. For example, posters oh, okay. or a lava lamp or a design or okay. something that the character is wearing. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Or using like a, like a specific type of machine or stuff like that. All right, number four, Alexander. I can't hear you, Alexander. Can you up please the screen? Of course. Okay, number up. I don't remember the question. Number four. Uh huh. The answer is screenwriter. Screenwriter. Very good. Screenwriter. Thank you. Number five, please. Marvin Calix. Uh, the answer is dialect coach. Dialect coach. Good job. The next one is Maritza Argueta, number six. The next one, I, I think, is a script. Doc. Script doctor. Are you sure? Yes, teacher, you just played the answer in the yeah. All oh, right. Excellent. Excellent. What is that, teacher? A script doctor. A script doctor <laughs> is somebody who like fixes or yeah, fixes a script. For example, imagine that you create a script you write it about somebody that travels the world and becomes a very inspirational person, helps many people, and grows in society. Okay. But you're not a professional. You're not like somebody that knows exactly what they're doing. So what do you do? You're just like a normal person with a story. So you take it to a script doctor. This person is a professional person that looks at scripts and he makes it to where it can look like a script. Teacher, a script doctor is a, is a, a, a person who modified the, the script. That is correct. From the okay. original, from the original way. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Excellent. Now we're going to move forward and we're going to be looking at section 4.6. By the end of this lesson, participants will learn and understand defining and non-defining relative clauses. Okay. First and foremost, what is a relative clause and when is it used for? For example, in Spanish, you say, ese es el perro que me mordió. 
that's the dog that bit me, right? So that's a defining clause. I am defining somebody specific or something specific, mm. right? Undefining okay. clauses are general. For example, if I say to you, Shakira is the woman I love. That's <laughs> undefining clause. Okay. All right. Okay. Listen, please. Relative clauses before, but this time we'll learn a little bit more. Can you hear? And find out the difference between defining and yes. defining. Yes. A little bit. Sure. Sure. Okay. Defining yes. and non defining relative clauses. Defining relative clauses are used to identify people. A dialect coach is a language specialist. She works with actors on their accents. A dialect coach is a language specialist who works with actors on their accents. A dialect coach is a language specialist that works with actors on their accents. A location scout finds places to shoot scenes. He travels all over the world. A location scout who finds places to shoot scenes travels all over the world. As we mentioned on the intro video, we have two types of relative clauses. Defining and non-defining relative clauses. Let's look at the difference between them. Number one, defining relative clause. The information in the clause is necessary. It shows us which person is being described or talked about. For example, the actor who starred in that movie is very talented. Number two, non-defining relative clauses. The information isn't necessary. It is extra information that is added to the sentence. For example, Tom Cruise who starred in that movie is very talented. I want to point out that commas are used before and after a non-defining relative clause. Think about the people involved in making a movie. Choose two and describe what they do using defining or non-defining relative clauses. All right. Let me give you some examples. For example, if I say to you, that's the dog that bit my leg. Is this defining or non-defining? Defining? That is defining, yes. right? Yes. Because I'm, I'm defining a specific dog. But if I say to you, Rockweilers, who love to play are good dogs. Is this defining or non-defining? Non-defining. Non-defining because who love to play is only extra information. The mm -hmm. important information is Rockweilers are well, good dogs. Okay. Right. If I say to you, he's the man who bought the house. Mm -hmm. Is that defining or non defining? Defining. defining. That's defining because I'm identifying a specific man. What did he do? He bought the house. If I say, if I say to you, Donald Trump Donald Trump who is rich loves pupusas. 
Is that <laughs> defining or non-defining? Non-defining. Non-defining. Non-defining because what? who is rich is extra information. The main idea is Donald Trump loves pupusas. Do you understand the idea? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, yes, okay. Go ahead and give me five examples. And I want you to write the examples right here in the discussion forum. So the examples can be similar to the partners. If you are working with somebody, you can have the same examples. You can also share your screen when you are working with your partner. Okay. We will work with the same people. Five to define them, teacher, and non define them. No, no, no. Five total. Three and okay. two, two and three, or two and two and okay. three, something like that. Okay. Number one, if you want, I will start. Okay. You can you can you can share the screen. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. There is. Okay. Um, the first one. My neighbor that is next to me is coming. What? My neighbor, I, <laughs> I had the microphone. <laughs> My neighbor that is next to me is coming. It's coming. It's coming. Okay. My neighbor. Who lives? Who lives? Daddy. Ah, who lives? Uh -huh. Next. To me. To me. It's coming. Yes, it's coming. It's not defined, right? Yes. Okay. Next one. Um, she is the teacher to my next class. She is the teacher to my next class. Uh -huh. Oh, four. Four, right? Four, I think it's four. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, me, I want, mm. It will be better to say she is the teacher assigned for my next class. Asignado. Ah, uh, yes. Assign. Assign. Assign, I don't know. Yes, assign. Okay, next class. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, next one. You? Mm, I will buy a car tomorrow. That's a simple sentence, but I don't know if it's defined. Yes, it is. What? I, guess. I will buy a car tomorrow. I will buy a car tomorrow. Yes, maybe. I'm sorry for the nice, uh, but somebody watching TV next to me. 
pues obviamente se afecta porque el mayor exportador de gas natural del mundo es Rusia. Siguiente, por favor. Y bueno, el italiano, ¿no? Con lo que ha ocurrido en Rusia, hasta tocará precio de ganar su dicho sobre expertos. ¿Sí? Arabia Saudita y Emiratos Árabes Unidos declinan llamadas con Biden. Ok, next one. My father, who can't speak English. Eso es muy importante. El día de hoy, ¿no? Voy a ir. Ahora se anunció el dato de inflación de Estados Unidos de enero. O sea, en Canadá de enero a enero. De 2021, febrero de 2021 a enero de 2021. Can I speak English? Y esa es la inflación uh, más grande. Is... La inflación más grande en 40 años. Ojo, que es hasta enero. No está contando uh, febrero ni mucho menos más. Will arrive. Después. Is... Por ende, tenemos una inflación. Will arrive on the big sin tomar en cuenta ni un no, segundo que se cumplió en su grado de Cuando se tabule eso, es, vamos a ver la verdad. Y Tokin. Ni siquiera la torre, la de Nero. Mi padre, ok. Es más grande que en 40 años. Hay un análisis para... Y Tokin con mi... Con los títulos de Reuters. Con este, mi teacher. Con los títulos de Reuters. Se lo recomiendo en corto, sin inglés, pero igual se puede traducir. Eh, lo publicado hoy, en la mañana. Eh, el nombre es: eh, tú todavía no necesitas. Le dice el ministro de Estados Unidos, así a mi entrada, lesiona su músculo de petróleo en el cuerpo. Y básicamente lo que pasó fue que el embajador del ministro de Estados Unidos en Estados Unidos dijo que ellos estaban dispuestos a subir la producción de petróleo para ayudar a su socio. Y bajó el precio del petróleo inmediatamente por la, la felicidad de que, de que iban a, a, a incrementar la producción. Luego, el director de producción de petróleo, el doctor Carlos Sotio, dijo que es un niño, ¿no? Y entonces en ese momento volvió a subir. Entonces, un día bajó y subió, bajó y volvió a subir lo que había bajado, porque muchos analistas sí. creen que eso es una muestra de poder de parte de datos a veces, como decir, ya ven, con unas palabras bajas y con unas palabras para ir a subir a donde estaba. Es un análisis corto para que quiera leer ese título y empezar a leer el resto. Entonces, sigue, por favor. Siguiente, por favor. I think the correct is engineering. With E. Ajá. With E, N, G. Quiero que veamos. Esto es cómo está en el mundo. No, I, no, 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 Probable que sea equivalente a un de No, no, it's okay. <coughs> Who will build my house? Okay. Who will build my house? Hey, what's going on, Juan Jose? Hello, Ana Pineda. Is everybody finished? Rigoberto, how are you? Francisco, hello. Elizabeth. Okay, let me have Rigoberto tell me your example. Okay, the very example is my neighbor who lives next to me is coming. The next one, she is the teacher assigned for my next class. 
The next one is, I will buy a car tomorrow. The other one is, my father who can speak English is talking with my teacher. Perfect, perfect. Thank you, Rigoberto. Uh, select somebody, Rigoberto. Thank you for moments, because I can see in the audience. <laughs> um, Alexander Munoz. Alexander Munoz, let me hear your example. Alexander Munoz, can I hear your examples? Okay. Okay. Number one, she is, you heard me? Are you hearing me? Yes. We, we hear you loud and clear. Okay. She is the girl that win the competition. Won the competition. Okay. Won the competition. Okay. Number one. Incorrect. Number two. Kathy loves the dogs, but she doesn't have one. Excellent. Okay. Number three. Jorge, who is a doctor, is an incredible soccer player. Very good. Okay, number four. This is the big house that Katya likes to have. Perfect. Number Perfect. five. Audi is a car that Alexander likes to have. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Now, what we are going to do is we're going to move forward and we're going to look at 4.8 knowledge check. Instructions. Read the following sentences. Add the non-defining relative clause in parentheses to the sentences. Remember to use commas for the non-defining relative clauses and a period at the end. Follow the example. Number one, a foreign correspondent travels all over the world. Who writes about events in other countries? The answer is a foreign correspondent who writes about events in other countries travels all over the world. Any questions? Any no, questions? It's okay. No, it's okay. All right, you're going to do exercise number one. Two, three, four, all the way to four. Okay. You will have five minutes to work in a different group. Okay. Let's go. I will share the screen. Yes, please. Thank you. So we're going to start. We do not check. Wait, wait. Number three or number three. Say an additional page. How's an additional page editor? An editor, page editor, who is a daily newspaper columnist, gives opinions about current issues. Okay. 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 Okay.
And the last one is a gossip colonies. gives opinions about current issues. Okay. Yeah. And also comes writes about writes about celebrations kind of Forget people. The following spouse. Parties. Writes about celebrities. And, and scandals. scandals. Yes. Check it. Hi. What is happening? Almost perfect. The final point? No. I think. Yes. No, no, no. Or yes. Check it. The first question again. If we don't have a space. I don't know what is happening. Ah, that's ah, what's happened? You understand everything. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's one. Can you repeat the first one? The response. I don't see a complete answer. A foreign correspond. Oh, that I mean it's over. All right. Let's look at the first one. Please read for me the first one. Juan Jose. Are you finished or do you need more time? Are you guys finished or do you need more time? I finished with my partner teacher. All right. Thank you, Ivania. Ivania, can you read the first one for me, please? Okay. A foreign correspondent who writes about events in other countries travels all over the world. Very good. Select somebody, please. Uh, Maritza. All right. Number two. You see the answers, please. Uh, a web page designer who is a graphic artist needs sophisticated computer knowledge. Perfect. Select somebody, please. Um, uh, Rigoberto. Rigoberto, continue. With the number three, really? Yes, number three, an, an editorial. 
An editorial based editor who is a daily newspaper columnist gives opinions about current issues. Nice. So like somebody, Rigoberto. Juan Jose Avalos. Juan Jose Avalos. No, yo digo que mejor la pongas en algo y así la metas. O es bastante. All right, Marvin Calix. Okay, uh, gossip columnist who gets to go to fabulous parties writes about celebrities and scandals. Perfect. Perfect. All right. At this moment, does anybody have any questions related to that activity? Yes, I have a question. The comma is not necessary. In this example, it's not necessary if it's uh, an undefining clause. Okay, 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 perfect. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we're going to look at, read the following sentences add the non-defining relative clauses in parentheses. So in this one, a foreign correspondent travels all around the world who writes about events. We just did this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. But but why in the, in the for example, uh, the sentence I use a coma. No, in this one, it's not necessary, the comma. Yes, but the number one, yes, a foreign. I'm trying to find it. Is it the same one? Oh, it is the same one. Okay, it didn't save. It didn't save the answers. Okay. There it is. Okay. All right. Okay, so this one, a foreign correspondent, comma, uh -huh. who writes uh -huh. about events in other countries, mm -hmm. travels all over the world. So these are non-defining clauses mm -hmm. so in this case the commas ah. are necessary but the correspond comma to rare event countries comma that's right yes two okay. commas yes because okay. these are non-defining this is mm -hmm. extra information mm -hmm. the main okay. idea is a foreign correspondent travels all over the world that's the main mm -hmm. idea yeah so this is extra information Okay, good job. Yes, yes. Let's move forward. How serious is plagiarism? You are going to read how serious plagiarism is. And then here at the bottom, you're going to summarize the article. Okay. You will have five minutes to work in pairs with the same group. Okay. Please give me a few, a few minutes, please. Oh, no. Next, 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 okay. KDA. Okay. Okay. The idea is read and later and after try to summarize, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, Anna and just you and me, Anna. Okay, wait. Okay. Okay. Um, there I did. Is the number four? Let me see. What? Share screen. Share. Uh huh. That's it. Yes. Okay. So okay. Reason, yes. How serious is plagiarism? Plagiarism. Okay. Plagiarism. Recently, a biology teacher in Kansas, a state in the American Midwest, made national and even international news. After Christine Pelton, 
discovered that 20 of her 118 students had plagiar plagiar sad, I don't know, parts of uh -huh. I don't know how it gave them falling grades. Okay, you go, you go. Because mm -hmm. it's a call. Let's switch in the point. Okay, okay. The police. The students. Mm -hmm. Okay, the students. Parents complained that school the school board direct directed Mr. Perton to change the punishment. They told her that 60, no, 600 points should be taken from the offender rather than the rather than the entire 1,800 points. Mr. Perton resigned in protest. You continue? Okay. Protest. Why this become such a significant story? Perhaps it is because so many people feel strongly about what is right and wrong. Also, the incident might soon be forgotten. It's raised some important question. What is Plyrons? How serious it is? You? The simplest form of plagiarism occurs when someone copies material without going credit, not to the source. However, yes. uh -huh. Go. Uh -huh. However, there are also more serious forms, such as when a student pays someone else to write in say, in a say. Some people claim that copying is necessary to do well in school. They have realized that their own words are not as good as someone else. Another common argument is that everyone does it, so it is not a big deal. In fact, it has been learned that some highly respected figures, including Martin Luther King Jr., have players. Although some people find reason to justify plagiarism, others feel the issue is clear cut. They, they feel, okay. They feel it's morally wrong and consider it's still a thief of idea rather than money. These people believe that students who plagiarize benefit unfairly. Unfairly. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Oh, uh, unfairly. They mm -hmm. receive a better grade than they deserve. Mm -hmm. So, what about the incident in Kansas? Was the original punishment too, too, dis too severe? Mm -hmm. Do to teacher uh, have uh, the right to tell students and parents what is right or wrong? Mrs. No, Mr. or Mrs. Perton would probably. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. All right, guys, can you hear me? Hello, hello? Yes, I can. You can hear me? Okay. Uh, all right, we're finished for today. Remember that tomorrow is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We don't have class, but day off. Day off, but you can work on the platform. Yes. Don't stop working on the platform. You can advance, advance, advance as much as possible on the platform. Okay. 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 Okay, teacher. Do you have okay, any questions? Tomorrow, Just... See you on Monday. <laughs> no. Yes. See you Monday. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye -bye. See you. Enjoy. See you.